Good morning. I hope everybody that listens is keeping well. So I'm outside in this part of the woods and um, I was uh, remembering what I've heard about this guy. This guy who is in charge of the administrative work in the country of South America. He managed, without printing money, to get the economy stable and he erased completely the inflation. And I was like, huh, okay. Of course, that is the natural path of an economy. It is. The natural path in which everybody uh, is rewarded. But there's a small thing that happens, in my opinion, when the economy becomes so stable and everybody benefits to the point that they can afford to stay at home for longer periods of time. Yes, they can stay at home because they can afford it. The thing is, humans are lazy by nature. And it's only when they are forced out of their lair that they will do anything about it. There's a group of humans that are motivated by art, for instance, by innovation, by creativity. Those don't need to be rushed out of the house. They will out of their own will because of the nature of their own nature. They will go out and, and make things happen. These are the creative, but they are few compared to the rest. The rest, they get out of the house every morning because they have to. They have to put food on the table because most of the times they are in debt. And it's because of that debt that they go out. If they didn't have debt, they would just lazy around the house. And that's the problem that emerges. What I'm trying to say is, Inflation, debt, is actually induced by the people in charge, by the establishment, to move people around, to stir the cage, to, you know, if that didn't happen, people will just become lazy, like the communists. Communists, they are lazy, they don't want to work, so everything that they do, everything they write, all of their theories and politics and religion and theology is all for the purpose of not working. Yeah. But not working creates something, creates issues within the body. The number one, you know, uh, enemy of a retired person is immobility. Yes. It has been, uh, you know, demonstrated that most people after retirement, they decline rapidly. They decline because they start, you know, sleeping or laying around, you know, just uh, sluggish around the, the couch and the TV, eating, you know, stuffing themselves. And that creates issues within the body. After a certain age, that can be fatal when you're young. The body has a different, you know, um, uh, what's the expression, what's the, uh, the definition, it's, um, I can't remember right now. The, the body is more active, you know, uh, metabolism, that's it, has a different metabolism and uh, when it's young. So, after a certain age, you have to stimulate that metabolism, otherwise, you know, you will do develop lots of inflation, inflammation, I'm sorry, well, inflation and inflammation, <laughs> it will develop lots of inflammation and uh, disease, and uh, that's the number one enemy of retired people. The same thing happens with people who, you know, unfortunately, because of health or accident, had to retire early, their enemy will also be, you know, slugging around the couch and eating a lot. So, what I'm trying to say is, inflation and debt, you know, is um, what keeps people out of the house. 
that keeps people, you know, working and making things happen. Yeah. That's just human nature, in my opinion. Because if you, everybody would follow, you know, this economic, you know, that we have, following it, you know, its normal course, everybody would benefit. There would be no inflation, no debt. There was no need for it. I mean, one of the, co uh, I mean, things that, for instance, uh, you know, uh, people who work in administration, i.e. the, politi the politicians, uh, complain the most is a way to get rid of the money. Um, for instance, in the EU zone, you know, they have these programs and <clears throat> every year, they give off money for those programs. And if you don't spend that money, you know, something is wrong. Either you're not doing your job or, you know, uh, they might cut the, the budget. So people have to invent problems in order to keep the money flowing. You know, I think that's the macro, you know, I would say macro um, uh, view of things. But in the micro, it also happens. For instance, if your parents give you an allowance and... Um, they knew you didn't spend it. Next time they might give you less. You didn't spend it anyway. You know, well, if they will really want to be, you know, assholes about it. Oh, look, there's a mushroom growing here. Right there. Okay. There was another thing I wanted to say. I can't remember right now. Oh, anyway. So, uh, so I, I think I'll just stop here. Tell me what you guys think. Have a nice day.